Welcome to our ADM Lucid automation testing channel. We'll have a series of talk about Selenium automation testing, which will help you understand the basics of Selenium and also guide you to build your own Selenium automation project. You may access our test project and guide in the description below. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for any new videos and updates. In today's video, we will talk about bidirectional API. So first, I'm going to introduce some, some general knowledge about bidirectional uh, API uh, or involving bidirectional API so we can understand the motives before, uh, behind uh, bidirectional API. So first, let's talk about basic authentication. So with certain web pages, um, they use a login page to secure pages. And so if a user wants to access those secure pages, they must log in first. In Selenium, we can actually bypass this login, which is useful when we want to test the secure pages behind the login page. Next, we'll talk about mutation observation. And this is the ability to capture events via WebDriver BD uh, when there are DOM mutations on a specific element in the DOM. Next, listening to JavaScript exceptions in Selenium Automation involves monitoring and capturing any errors that occur in the JavaScript code of a web application while running your automated tests. Uh, this can be useful for identifying issues and debugging problems in your web application. And finally, network interception. So in Selenium Automation, uh, network interception refers to the ability to capture, manipulate, and analyze network traffic between the browser and the web server during test execution. This capa capability is particularly useful when um, you have scenarios where you want to simulate various network conditions, intercept and modify HTTP requests and responses, or just capture network related information for testing and debugging purposes. So next we'll show you some code of how to implement this in using Selenium. So here we have the code for the bidirectional API. We've created a controller class called CD Pimple, and this is a controller class we have right here. And before looking at the code, I just want you to notice that we had to import a few uh, dependencies. So we had to import dev tools, network interceptor, DOM mutation events. We also had to import right here has log events, HTT response, route as well and also atomic reference, uh, UTF-8 uh, UTF string, and, and DOM mutation here as well. So those are the dependencies that we had to import uh, before actually writing the class. So now looking at the controller class, CD Pimple. So in this controller class, we have, again, we have four different methods. So the first method we have here is to look at the basic authentication of a website. So let's look at this method first. So in this method, we have to uh, first we have to uh, create an instance for a Chrome driver, uh, and then, as you see here, this is the web page that we try to access. So this web page usually has a login page before you can access any secure pages behind it. And so in order to bypass it using this method, we specified a admin password and username that lets us bypass it. And this method should allow you to bypass that login page and access the secure pages behind it. Next, for uh, mutation observations in the DOM, we created another class uh, called mutation ops. And in this class, again, we had to create a, uh, an instance for the Chrome driver. We also had to create an instance for a thing called atomic reference, uh, and then Afterwards, basically, we say that this is the website we want to test, google.com. And essentially what we do is we want to see if there's any mutations in the DOM. So we basically uh, assert that certain elements within the, within the page is of, certain quant is of certain values. So we're saying that, uh, for instance, this is of uh, the attribute name of this is class and that sh uh, the current value of whatever we assert here is yf and so on. Next, for the JavaScript exception examples, in this one, uh, we also had to create some new 
instances. So first we have the Chrome driver instance, and then we also had to uh, use DevTools here and create a DevTools session. Afterwards, we created uh, an array list here to, uh, to store the exceptions. Uh, and right here, we define that the website we wanna test is ADM Lucid. And then below that, we're basically giving it some JavaScript uh, execution commands and we're testing if it responds how we want to. And if it doesn't respond how we want to, we throw a new error and then this is the error we get when we click. And finally, for network interception, uh, we do the same thing. So we create an instance for the network interceptor. And here, we're basically, uh, we're, we're right here, we're creating a new HTTP response. And first, we're checking if the status is 200. And then we're also checking if the header contains uh, whatever we want. So in this time, the header is of this content type. And then the header contains creamy delicious cheese. And if it does, then we pass it. And in this method right here, we're testing the driver. Uh, we're trying to test the web page ADM Lucid. So that's a controller class. Uh, next, we created a test class under our, uh, our, our test package here called CD Pimple as well. And we're just gonna test each one individually first. So first we're gonna test the basic, uh, the basic authentication. And before we do that, I just wanna show you what I mean. Uh, so here is what it usually looks like. You have to log in here in order to access the web page behind it. So in this class, uh, this method, we should be able to bypass that. So let me just go ahead and run that. And you see, we we're able to bypass that login page to access the secure page behind the login page. So that is basic authentication. Next, we're gonna look at mutation ops. So again, we're gonna run this. And so after running this, uh, let me just drag this up a little bit. We see that it all passed and we can actually scroll all the way down. And if we had any errors during our asserts, uh, they would show up here in red, but we didn't have any errors. And we see that for instance, the status 200, so that's, that's right. Uh, and we also see um, the content type is uh, length 14 and uh, we see we basically see that our assertions uh, for this uh, uh, mutation ops was correct for that web page. And yeah, so that's the mutation ops. Next, we can try and check out the JavaScript exceptions example. So we'll go ahead and run this. So basically we tell it to do a bunch of commands on this ADM Lucid website. And it's still running it. And there we go. Uh, so for this one, uh, we see that it all passed. Um, it was able to execute all the commands that we gave it uh, on the website and it worked out. And we see that here, uh, if we go all the way down to here, right here, it says that these commands were able to be run, uh, but right here we actually get an exception error uh, and it says error when click at HTML anchor on click uh, at this location of 17. And this is actually what we expected. We, uh, we purposely put something that would cause an error in there so that we could catch it. Uh, so it says throws new error, error when click. And that's exactly what we get here. And so we get error when click. And finally, we can test, uh, we can test the uh, network interception class. So I will create this and then I will uh, run this now.
And basically in this one, it passed again um, and it showed the website as creamy delicious cheese, which is we know that it passed. And in this method, we basically were able to, uh, we were able to uh, find the status 200. We were able to, um, to get the right content type. And so it inserts that statement saying that we were able to find creamy delicious cheese in the header. And so it gave us that result. Uh, thank you for listening to this video. I hope uh, this video kind of gave you a good introduction to uh, bi-directional APIs. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.